hip hop and R&B has always been Calgary's, you know, ugly stepchild. A year of beats, rhymes, and black lives. Twin pandemics pulled hip hop and R&B artists off stage, but black voices have been amplified through trauma from the death of George Floyd. And there's a hunger to rebuild culture here in Cowtown, a city where traditionally country and the Calgary Stampede have enjoyed all the privileges. Our crown jewel is our theater. Benny Johnson has been quietly building this multi-use space for artists over the last year, and it's about to launch in just weeks. The local hip-hop pioneer has been showcasing talent for almost a decade through 10 at 10 events, paving the way for the genre in what everybody knew as Cowtown. A lot of those events were heavily policed or they weren't allowed to happen just because it said hip hop. So again, if I'm gonna do an outdoor event or an indoor public event, my insurance would double or triple if I put that hip hop was the music being played. So, you know, and understanding that to say, okay, how do we navigate this new future? It's like, well, let's see what the Stampede's allowed to do. The Calgary Stampede will act as a basis for other festivals and live shows, but cowboys and country also bask in the freedoms others don't. The show has enjoyed extended liquor service, government arts and culture grants, and other privileges. We've been getting wishful phone calls about if we could hopefully do something, uh, but um, un until the government just gives us that green light, you know, we can't, it's very difficult to, to book something. Shutdowns pushed many artists to at-home live streams, but KL also brought his voice to the streets with another crisis as a leader with Black Lives Matter YYC. But there are worries there may not be stages to go back to. A new classification has been given to music venues and now called culture rooms, which will give them access to some more granting, but it's still not going to be enough. <laughs> But conversations about race are also creating opportunities with new grants specific to R&B and hip hop. And it's going to be a lot more multicultural and a lot more accepting uh, due to the protests of 2020. There's a big change coming and we won't have problems finding work when, when we get back. In Calgary, Crystal Ladaris, City News.